Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys in today's video guys so working on a Fiesta MK7 the generation from 2018-2017 So today guys we will show you how to remove and replace the rear door lock actuator Okay on that Fiesta sedan and hatchback should be identical procedure Okay, we're talking about right here if your door doesn't lock all the way it starts clicking or doesn't open Okay, we'll show you how to remove and replace that door lock actuator. It's not as easy as you think, guys. So make sure you stay with us and we'll cover the whole procedure now. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we'll need to open the door, of course. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do now, okay, we'll need some door uh, panel removal too. Screwdrivers here we have, guys. We'll have the links in the description of the video, the tools and parts that we use as well. So now we need to pry that cap open. Okay, and you have to be careful, okay, not to damage it. You can see where the clip is, okay, right there. So we got the uh, that thing out of the way now. Okay, next thing, we're going to get a small flathead screwdriver. Okay, right here, there is one cap that we need to pop open. Okay, on one side, I think it comes on this side actually, I don't know. Let's see for sure, yep, it's right there. Okay, we got it out. Okay, and we have a screwdriver with a Phillips screwdriver, you can see inside. So we're going to get a Phillips screwdriver. You won't need to use any much tools guys, but if you need anything, we have it in the description of the video, so trying to make your life a little bit easier. Next we need to get a Torx 25, okay. Let me show you here. Okay, the star looking bit, okay, right there. So we're going to get that, and right here, okay, there is two screws under the door handle. Okay, check them out. Those are with the torques now. Okay, so we need to go ahead and remove those all the way. Okay, both of them. Okay, one is out, you can see how long it is, pretty long screw. Okay, working on the second one now. And they're usually pretty, pretty tight. Okay, working on this one now. Okay, we're using that uh, panel removal tool now, a wide one, and there is a few clips. Uh, make sure guys you stay with us until the end, okay, to show you where all the clips are now, because it's uh, important to know where to apply pressure, okay, so you don't break any. Okay, you can see it's pretty tight. This one, it has never ever been removed. Okay, we got our fingers underneath once you get the two. Okay, and you just start popping it. Okay. You can see, still having some here and there. Okay, one clip fell. So we'll show you how to fix that now. Okay, perfect. Now you need to lift it up. Okay, and pull it out of the seal there. Okay, now let me show you how to disconnect this one, guys. Now, let me take my time here. Okay, right here, this part, you need to push towards the back, okay? And when you do that, you unhook it. When you're ready to uh, install it again, okay, let me show you, just get it in the thing, and all you have to do, okay, I'm a little bit short here on the cable, you need to just get it on the front, okay, and push it in if you need to install it. Okay, just like that, that's how simple it is. I just wanted to show you so you know what to expect. Next we have the wiring harness for the window switch, okay, right here. You press in on that part, okay, but you need to get a small flat screwdriver or use your fingernail, okay, to press it in. Okay, here the click now, okay, like that. And we pull it out. Oh, you guys remember how our, uh, how our doll, okay, clip right here fell out. Okay, so all you have to do is just get them in and push them in the groove. We still have a few stuck on the door, okay? So with that uh, clip removal tool that comes with the door panel removal tool, it's really easy to remove them without breaking them. Uh, we have the links for replacement ones because we bought some, okay? For the other door, we needed before we broke one or two. Okay, this one is out as well, and we have just uh, just one more now. Okay, let's go ahead and install them on the door panel and show you where all the clips are. 
you can see in the very rear top you have one, two, three. Okay, after that, okay, you have on the on this side, okay, right here on the bottom, you have two. You can see this one, this one, and two on the side. So all together we have two, three, four, five, six, seven clips, guys, that you need to remove. Okay, now in order to remove the door uh, lock actuator, okay, we need to remove the exterior door handle, and right here, okay, we need to remove that cover, guys, with a plastic removing tool. And inside, okay, let me get a, a little bit of additional light so you can kind of see. Let me focus a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's hard to. Okay, right there, you can see there is a bolt with Torx 20. Okay, so you need to get the screwdriver with the Torx 20. That's why we like that set because it comes with everything you need for most of the repairs. Okay, and just okay, get it in place there. It's hard to sometimes find it. Okay, but take your time. Okay, and start unscrewing and check check on that cap when it's going to come loose. Okay, you can see. Oh, right there. That's enough. Okay, next I'm going to open it a little bit to get that seal on the door handle so I don't break it because those are usually easy to break. Then you need to open it just a little bit and you need to slide towards the back, okay? So, okay, you see, okay, like that, we can come out, okay, and remove the door handle out of the way, okay, like that. Next we have one more right here, okay, and this one is with that T20 again. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove that screw now. Make sure you don't lose them, guys, okay? And now, on this side right here, we have to get, uh, we have to get T30 for that to remove them. Okay, so now with uh, Torx 30, we will remove the three, three bolts here. Okay, one, two, hold it inside. Okay, that's the third one now. Okay, so now what do we need to do? We need to grab, okay, on the inside, the handle assembly here. Okay, now right here, those, okay, you need to, <laughs> it's hard to show you guys, need to move them like that and one of them will crack. Okay, so we can slide the handle okay forward okay came out okay and okay this guy is the door lock actuator now let, let us show you now that's the whole thing with the door lock mechanism here with the door handle mechanism and the actuator as well okay guys you have two teeth now here so with okay long pliers like that Okay, you need to squish them in. Okay, and then... Okay, let me grab it on this side a little bit. Okay, you need to start... Okay, pulling it out. Okay, now the cable... Okay, will go through here. Okay, and you will be able to pull it out eventually. Okay, like that. Okay, so you can see you, we have only two more to go right here. Okay, let me get the power screwdriver so we save a little bit of time. Not just to unscrew them for five minutes. Okay, this is Torx 20. One is out. Now the second one. Okay, and you can go ahead. And remove, guys, the door lock actuator, okay, right here. If you need to remove the cable here, all you have to do just uh, on this part right here, you press in and uh, you pull it out. Okay, this one is simple. Let me just show you quick how to do that. Okay, it's really tight because it's never been removed, actually. Okay, almost got it out, just have to like help it a little bit. Okay, and actually I just realized that you have to open, okay, this cap, okay, right here. And then you press on, on this one. 
Okay, <laughs> until it eventually comes out. This is really, really tight clip. Okay, right here. That Okay, almost, almost out. Oh, you guys, and it comes out. Okay, like that, you can see how this one is. So you get a new door actuator right here. This thing needs to go, okay, right here. Okay, check it out now. It goes only one way. And next you're going to uh, go ahead, actually, and get the two screws. Okay, start it. Install those. Okay, this one is with the T20 still, Torx 20. Okay, let's get them tight. Okay, one is tight, second one now. Okay, now what we're going to need, guys, okay? Whether you're replacing the door mechanism or the door lock actuator, it's the same procedure, everything here, guys, you can see. You have to remove one to remove the other one. Okay, next we need to install the cable. Okay, and first you're going to go, okay, open it. Okay, let me just go ahead and open it all the way like that. Get the cable in, feed it through here so it doesn't come off. Okay, and then you have to push it in until it clicks. Okay, like that. Now, you're going to open this one and install that spring, okay, right there, so it's going to hold it in place when you install the exterior door handle, it will be really convenient. Okay, and next you're going to go, actually, through the door. Okay, we need to situate everything where it's supposed to be. Okay, and this one is the tricky part now, guys, because everything needs to go in a specific place. Okay, this is the exterior door handle that I'm trying to bring up here. Okay, give me just a second now, because I sunk a little bit here. Okay, so now, okay, it needs to go in like that, we need to get that screw. Okay, remember that screw. Go ahead, okay, we broke one of the teeth here, and get it tight. Perfect. Okay, just like that. Next, we need to get the three right here. Okay, now I need to bring this one out a little bit. And here you can use some, uh, actually, thread locker on those. Originally they have thread locker. Okay, so it's recommended to use that. Okay, this one started as well. Make sure you start them by hand first, so you don't damage. Okay, next, the door handle. You need to go like that, right here in an angle. Okay, and next, okay, you push it in there. Okay, like that, okay, and you just pull it so you can release that spring that we loaded there. Okay, and now we're going to install that seal, okay, right here. After that we're going to get the cap, install that cap, and we're going to get the uh, Tox 20, install it on the screwdriver, and we need to find it, okay, now. Right there, and just keep getting this thing tight. Okay, you can see it's eventually getting the cap tight. Okay, we still have a little bit more. Have to wipe our door. Okay, a little, a little bit more we have here. Okay, like that. Next, we need to install, okay, that cap right here. Okay, like that. Okay, now it's tricky how you put it together. All right, check out these three canals, okay? You have those on that panel right here, and you need to slide it towards the back after that. 
but first we need to feed our interior door hang handle cable through here okay we have uh, okay we have uh, the cable that we need to install as well don't forget about this cable okay we need to install the okay that seal here but actually the seal probably will be better after we install the cable okay let me just grab it here and you just push it push it in there okay here the click perfect now let's get go ahead and okay get that seal in okay we just have a little bit more on the back side okay okay perfect you can see the seal looks good okay now we need to go okay towards the front okay to get in those holes okay right here so we need to okay let me okay those holes i won't be able to get a camera there guys okay okay almost there you can get your hand through the speaker actually make sure that all of them are lining up a little bit Okay, and once you push them, all of them in, we can slide it towards the back. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can slide it now. Okay, perfect. It went in. Now you need to position everything. Okay. You can see, and we can go ahead and install the bolts. Okay, we uh, got all the bolts in. Now we're just gonna get them tight. Okay, you can see all of them have to be tied. And you see what else we need to do guys. Uh, we need to hook the window up, we need to install the window motor. All that stuff needs to be done. We need to install the speaker, door panel. So quite a bit, quite a bit now. It's not as easy, but that will save you so much money, guys, instead of going to a shop or something like that. Okay, perfect. We got all of them in now. Okay, you need to bring the bolts here now for the window. Next, we're going to install the, the window motor. Okay, and it goes only one way. Make sure you get the wire in before you install it. Okay, like that. And if it doesn't go in, you have to turn turn it left or right a little bit until everything lines up or you have to move the window regulator up or down by hand but ours went in pretty simple okay we have uh, we have three uh, three screws now that we need to install with the Torx 25 you can see those uh, white shiny screws okay that's actually Torx 30 right here Torx, Torx 25 Okay, two more to go. It's important how you hook up the window now because uh, if it doesn't line up on one side, guys, it might not close all the way on left or right side. So you have to reposition it, okay, if that happens. Next, we're going to install the speaker. Now it has three screws, okay, that we actually placed on the seat there. Two of them. Are there, okay. Okay, this one here now. And we just realized that one of the screws is actually most likely on the back of the speaker because it's a big magnet. Okay, so check it out right there. So always check that. That's a good that's a good thing guys to watch a video before we do it so you can avoid the mistakes that we we make. Okay, let's try that again. Second try. I think it'll work out this time, hopefully. Okay, perfect. Next we need to remove uh, install of course the wire. 
need to remove all the tape now we need to hold the window okay and let's uh, one person will hold the window the other one will just uh, kind of remove the tape okay let's get everything okay you can see it's trying to drop already and you just grab it and you slowly let it down until it reaches the window regulator okay you can see it through the hole there actually if it's in all the way okay looks good so now we're going to tighten it okay never use the impact or anything like that just get it tight by hand a little bit is enough you don't want to put too much pressure on the window perfect what we're going to do now we're just going to give it a try to make sure that it closes all the way up and down or oh, because otherwise it might need to be okay readjusted okay one second okay ours closes all the way perfect okay we're going to remove the window switch now because uh, we need to install it on the door panel okay later so now we are actually ready to proceed with the door panel okay, we're going to install the handle there you just get it in place and push push it in okay let me see if I can shoot through this side okay perfect it locked in <clears throat> okay now we need to make sure that this wire for the window switch doesn't drop or we're in big trouble we're going to install the switch first okay let's install it so we don't have to pop the uh, the door panel open again because of that wire okay it goes only one way push it in and install the window switch it goes on the back side first and then the front okay now you need to find all the clips just sneak through the hole there and make sure that everything is lining up just start pressing it in okay guys next we'll need to install uh, the two screws under the door handle that you pull there okay and we have one more okay perfect this one's ready we have one screw under the door handle right here that we need to install okay and to cover it with the cap okay we still need to get this one tight and we can reach it all the way with the power screwdriver without extension okay let's just get the one there now this one is with a Phillips screwdriver on top and don't forget to install your little cap there it's facing towards the opening side okay it goes only one way okay okay like that Yep, it didn't go in. Okay, it locked in place. Perfect. We need to install this cap right here. And this is it, guys. So that's how you guys remove and replace the door lock actuator on Ford Fiesta rear door lock actuator. We have the front one on the channel as well. Please give a like, guys. Leave a comment and see you guys next time.